Hello everyone, welcome to Simon Tools. Today I'm going to show you how to fully rig, um, rebuild K1270. That means Husqvarna K1270 Conquest Saw. This one is the biggest one in all Husqvarna K1270s. And I've been pulled out. And this car be very dirty too. I need to rebuild the car later, but for time being. Put it down here in the boxes there. All the parts are there. And I've been pulled it out. And uh, this is the genuine one. For rebuild one of these genuine, very expensive. The genuine uh, parts, they're so expensive. It costs like, uh, for, to be honest, to rebuild this engine, they cost you to $1,500 to $2,000 for re reconditioning this engine. So what I do is I order this one aftermarket. It's from Taiwanese K1270 and of course you know the budget for this one is cheaper than you thought and uh, it will make this one run like brand new and it, this one is the one of the strongest one in Husqvarna so okay and what I do today I've been already take it out and try to hone it but it's not because the uh, the piston will seize up and melt inside and damage the uh, head cylinder I tried to face it, but it's not working because uh, when I try that and I pull it, compression test, and it doesn't give me any compression. So this one very, very big damage. So we have to order another parts and put them on. So stay tuned. I'm going to pull the one out and put it back and make it go like brand new for you. I've been washed and cleaned up inside already before it's super dirty. So what I have to do now is just put the brand new head cylinder on. It is brand new, brand banking new in box. And it's take up the decompressor. Decompressor. Right there. This one gone. So I got four of them, make sure, put them away. All come with washer. And this one we can use again. Because when you buy a new one, they don't give you the uh, paper gasket. The paper gasket just to stop the air leaking here, that's all. And still need it. And this is the old one. I try to face it, make it nice and smooth, but on the top here, there's a big crack, little big grooves here. So that's why it loses compression. So I try, but uh, it's not working. No compression. I try to save the customer out and make them less money. So 
do that way, they pay less, so they, I can't fix it. So I have to order the new one. Keep this one, keep this one. Take up the piston here. In, pull the pin out, put on one side, and we'll lose it. Go over the end, snap. Here we go, it come out. The bearing is still good, the needle bearing is still good, so we don't have to replace. We use the pin on the new one. That's it. This one inside nice and clean. I've been washing it out already. So what we try is keep this one. Take it out all the way. Terrible screwdrivers. Can't afford to buy any more flat screwdrivers. Keep broke on me. This one even better. Okay, take this one out. Don't break it, okay? Because when the air leak on this one would be no good. This one need to be in one shape. This one need to be in one good shape, no leak at all. This one itself it costs you thirty to forty dollars just this rubber. So don't break it. This one, in the bin. French spot metals. Brand banking new one. Come with brand new piston rings, brand new pin, brand new piston, and the circ clips. Brand new piston here. Before you put on, you have to check all the little group in here. See any metal that been safe and it's not cut them all out. And the best way is. Turn on your air compressor, good, give a good flow, make sure no dust or any little crumbs inside, out. One little crumb in here that go inside the engine, it could damage the whole engine out. So better make sure and check, make sure no crumbs at all inside, okay? Now I put the decompressor out first. So make sure it's super tight. It's super tight in there. Decompressor. And this one on first. So we go this way. We go this way. And we go slide in. Make sure there's a little little hole. Little house there. Be the house there, go in first. Okay. Okay. 
Look on the top here, make sure the groups inside here and there, they're on line. Make sure it's straight. So make sure it's the, the hole inside are lined up with the manifold. Okay, this is called like the manifold. Tight it all the way until these two touch together. Super tight. We don't need no air leak inside. This one on, we leave on one side. We're gonna put the uh, piston ring. Before do that, you know, pass load oil here, very handy. Pass load oil, put some in there. Lubricate this and that, put some in there. That will help the uh, engine lubricate a little bit. Okay, get the pin out. Brand new piston. Mm -hmm. So the piston will be go on. See the target? Go forward there. Forward the blade, okay? So we enter the pin, the pin on in this way. The pin in this way. We need the washer. So we put one of this so clip in first. So it's on and it stay there. Very wet today. So we, you see the groups there. Doesn't matter which one go first. You see the groups. See the groups right there. Gotta be go in dark groups there. Doesn't matter which one top or bottom. Okay, they all the same. Trick is. Use this one. Use this one. Go over there. Slide all the way down. Slide all the way down. And slide the back. And it's on line itself. See? See, very easy. So this one, up that way. See the little groups cutting in here? Group cutting in here is going there. See? Go right. In there very simple you done one and you know how to do it so first before put in put oil all over the rings make it easy to lubricate so it's going in easily okay all on now we're gonna put the pin on one side without the circlip first Go in there. <coughs> now we're gonna slide them on. See that pin? How halfway there? And the target go that way. The target this way. Let's go forward with the saw blade. Lift this one up and slide it in until you can go feel it go in. So it go in. It's on now. It's on. All you do is just get something to push it all the way. Push it in all the way until you see the little group there for the circlip. Okay. Now the circlip time. Very simple. Put your long nose pliers. Grab this one. Grab this one. And hold it really tight. Really tight. Go in here. Put one end in first and push it down. That's it. Make sure we get a flat screwdriver. Push it until it's all in the grooves. It's done. Okay. While well, your hand touching the outside, it's dirty. Put the smack away. away. It's dirty, so that's it. Now clean. Okay. Put this one away. Pick up the uh, piston cylinder. Put a few oil in here, make sure one circle of oil, done. That's all you need, one circle of oil. And uh, now we're gonna slide in. So, this is the exhaust, go out that way. The intake go in this way. And we speed them on. So we think turn the bump like this way. Not easy for you, go in there. 
and you're gonna start squeezing. You see the gap here? Just squeezing this one, push this one back, push this one back all the way, put all this one all the way, and make sure the groups, the groups where the pin of the piston is on line, and you can push it on. You put on one by one, okay? Need it? Yep, it's on one, and the other one. It's on now, see? Both on very easily. This is on. All we have to do is just push it down. Straight them up, make sure nothing got underneath there. And push it down. And make sure this one on line here, this one on line here. And you can go still down. Okay, let's see. Beautifully done. That's how it should be. Now you can turn. Okay, you can put all this four bolt back. This four bolt are going back in. One finger. Oh. Make sure all on fall, all falls on live first before you can do really tight, okay? Make sure super tight, okay? Super tight. Super tight. For time being, vibration is, can go off. So make sure super tight. Just in case something falling inside the engine. Okay. Now we're gonna put exhaust. And I gotta clean the uh, carburetor. Time being, put the pull start on. Too much mess, so I put the pull start on first. That's it. Russian baby, oh my god, it's hard to pull even with decompression on. And it's yes, that beautiful sound. That's what I want to see, mate. Okay, exhaust on. So the exhaust in here, this way. To install exhaust for this one, this light always go in first. This aluminium gasket always go in first, okay? And the bolt go in here. Another one, where is it? Here we go. We've got two of them. Two exhaust bolt. Big motherfucker. Small one. How come we not go on? Uh, one there. And one there. And this one been trapped. I have to make this one a little bit bigger. This hole will get smaller. See it going here? Perfectly. Make sure no crumb, no nothing there. Be like all like that. Okay, this one on, this one on, and uh, this one no good. This one no good. I'm using my paper gasket.
put this one in. I know it will work 100%, that's why I put them on. Because we got some compression there, baby. So. Go away tight, tight. And this one. One on top. One on top. One on bottom. strong never come up okay okay got a good clean up look like new put them in first thing first now we're gonna put back this one on I don't know okay I forgot how so how the hell is this one going in there you go there and go there and this one go that way this one go that way the long way around and I'm gonna slide the uh, fuel tank on fuel light on first before I do anything else before I forgot slide a fuel light on would be big trouble if the fuel line go in there it's very really tight too man oh shit Very small, a very small house going to a big house. Next, I don't know if this one belongs to this one or not. Come on, man, don't give me a hard time, man. Don't try my patience, okay? I will burn it. Okay, done. This one there. And how are we gonna get this one in? Okay, this one there. And we will, we will go. The cable go in here for sure. Cable slide in here. Yes, the cable slide in here. Okay, I got it. And it go in behind here. And it go in here for power pulling. So it go in there. Go behind here, go behind here. I very rarely doing this one, so a bit confusing. Very rarely do this big machine because uh, not many people have this machine. This one's so expensive, and uh, that's why not many people are using it. Okay, go there, okay, line, then one on in, one on now. We're gonna line the rubber that holding this carburetor right there, vibrator. The big rubbers, push it in, done. Now we can bow bow tight tight. Okay, jeez, I forgot they are choke. They're gonna do. They're gonna do. Come on, man. Go in this way. Now it's a difficult time, huh? Come on, mate. Don't do this to me. I'm a good person, you know? That's it. That's it. Just like that. Come on. Listen to me. Go home. Okay. Done. Okay. That one. Put you back in. That one, push you back in, done. Now I can tie tight, I can try my acceleration, I can pull my choke, that's right, correct. Done, done, beautiful. Acceleration, choke, beautiful.
can jump for tax shock and pull this compressor. No petrol. Okay, sound good. Close up and fill and go. Very good, everything back and it's ready to go. Sit. Okay, we are ready and put everything back to go. It looks like that it's working well. So well, thank you for watching Simon Tools and this is how I do fully replace the new piston see this one out and try to clean up and make it work but it wouldn't work inside here here the big grooves in there big line that make loose compression the big groove light in there so i try to send it back and make it work but this won't work so I better have to get a new engine put on and now i put everything back and ready to go thanks for watching Simon Tools and if you have any questions or comments please comment down below and I'm willing to help you out thanks for watching see ya